Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Open your mouth! They're paying for it! You eat it! Where are you going? Where are you going? Alright, my fine friends, the Marine Corps went into overdrive with recruiting ads. Month of June, they just were off the rails. Let's take a look. Are they effective? Number first through third, you devil dogs remind me. Is there a fourth battalion for men? How oh, that was women's? I don't know. That's new. Help me out. Mr. Byron Morris here at Paris Island today to witness my son earn the title Marine, and I gave him his Eagle Globe and Anchor uh, just a few minutes ago. I went to boot camp right here, third battalion. I stood on the same parade deck, you know, 20 some years ago as my son did today. I had a sense of, of pride. I had a sense of really kind of passing on some of my history and legacy to my son. And, and look well, the dad's a lifer. Congratulations. But the issue is why the Marine Corps put this out. But if you look at people who have been in the military, how they used to recommend like 85% clip, their kids go in. Now it's down to like 62% clip. I don't know if this is a little too late, but I like this guy. Get after devil dog. Be giving it to him in his hand. We are kind of indoctrinated with the love of the core, the love of our country. That is what where the pride comes from. You know, just kind of being part of something that's, that's bigger than myself, being a part of, of the brotherhood. And then to watch my son achieve that same milestone. You guys have been recently, is it still kind of a cult? It used to somewhat be a call for junior guys, right? Lance Corporal and below. That's the best way to describe it because when you're around, say, the Army, you're just kind of different. They kind of brain, they brainwash you good. I think they do a good job. I just don't know if this is a little bit too late. They've already had, you saw the study, remember that? It's on this channel, we need to determine if recruits calling a drill instructor by a pronoun that could trigger them. It almost gives you like goosebumps. The, the, you're overjoyed right. and just a, a proud moment. Yes. I told him that I was proud of him, uh, and I made sure that I called him a Marine. As I closed up everything, I said, congratulations, Marine. Uh, and at that point, he was okay, but when I said that, I started seeing him, you know, kind of break down just a little bit. Uh, my dad was in the Marine Corps. I went in the Air Force, uh, pretend to have my daughter come in. And uh... Space Force. <laughs> now we see that, I laugh. And I'm right near the base. We need it, of course, but... It's interesting. Let's just call it that. Their uniforms are priceless. Have you seen with the ball caps? Like, I guess it's an Air Force thing. It's fun. <laughs> Excuse me. Following his footsteps to be a Marine is just truly amazing. Yeah. We wow. all know we hit walls in our life, and we look and say, I, I don't have the strength to do this for myself. And you think about what, what happened? can help motivate me to go further and to be. What happened here? Dad is super tall, and the daughter looks nothing i mean it must be another mother because that is tall and the little devil dog there pfc devil dog is tiny now hear me out for a second you guys been in if you're in space force it's a career and listen or not would you tell your daughter to go into the marine corps make a career out of it this is a career guy right here I'm sure he's got 18 years in or so would you tell your daughter the marine corps is a good career for you i don't think i would honestly that person for her <laughs> Uh, right. is all a parent could ask for. Yeah. That it can give her that strength that she could get through that adversity and then pick herself up and be like, man, I, I did do this on my own. I did do it for myself. I am capable of this. Locked on, isn't she? Uh, to reach these higher goals. My name is Brandon Rowland, a uh, proud father of Lanaya Rowland. She's, well, actually, we're, we're both uh, Marines and uh, we're here to uh, see her graduate. We're a family that, that loves to serve. I did eight years in the Marine. I just, what struck me about this ad, Thanks for being here, you guys. Was I just don't know if people that are in would tell their kids to go in at this point. Now, here's my take. You're young, you're wild, go in, do a hitch, get out. For most people. You may love it. You may be a lifer. I still think there's utility to it. There's something to take away from it to help you. I don't know that most people are going to tell their kids to go in anymore. That ship may have sailed with, you know, I want to understand my white rage, General Miley, that... The whole thing. Emma's two moms. You follow me. Core, and so they wanted to follow my footsteps. Right. I'm proud of all my children. I'm proud of what I've done. But to see her go through what she's gone. Through. I didn't see any BCGs in that young devil dog. <laughs> Those glasses look pretty hip. Do they not do BCGs anymore? Birth control glasses. Let me know, you guys, please. Through knowing what she's gone through, there's nothing like it. Right. Words can't. Words can't even describe it. 
you know, pride is, pride is, is at the base of what I feel. There's so much more. Wow. So we got two of these. The latest from June. I'm just trying to see, you know, the Marine Corps hasn't had to put the money out yet, like the Army has to get new recruits. I talked to a Sergeant Major recently that in 20 plus years in the Army, and he said, yeah, the new recruits are, you know, the two years or less are a tad different. <laughs> Not as motivated. And so it's interesting times. Stand by. <laughs> I remember that run. I think we came back from BWT or something. We never had this hand out the E Globe and Anchor thing. I would suspect it, a lot of kids crying, a lot of young devil dogs crying. I guess it's a thing. Uh, do you guys, what do you guys think about that? Does it matter? I think this, you know, trying to bring the Marine Corps like a frat, keeping it that way, makes people want to join. Now they get in a little bit later, like eat the apple, fuck the core, but you know, that's, <laughs> it'll take some time. It has been a true pleasure to share transformation wow. into Marines. And I would be honored if you joined me in singing the Marine Corps him. From the heart of Little side note. How many of you guys had people in boot camp, obviously that lost a bunch of weight, but then some guys who gained weight in boot camp? Remember Hispanic guy? He was kind of lean, wiry. He gained like 20 pounds in boot camp. I went in there lifting weights, you know, power lifting, like 220. I think I came out like 160, lost every bit of muscle I had. I think after the first month, I was weaker. But a few guys, did you gain weight in boot camp? Let me know. That's a, <laughs> I never could understand that. Now, those of you, they're at Paris Island. You remember when you graduated the day? I still do. I remember my mother tried to give me a hug. You know, they used to march us up. We're in Charlie's at the time, as I remember. They march us up. My mother comes to give me a hug. She didn't recognize my grandmother did it. I stiffed on her, and I said, no hugs. <laughs> I mean, I remember Sergeant Farmer and Lewis said, if I see you hugging, you're going to pay. Oh, five, you get back here. You're going to pay. And I, I was a believer. My brain, I believed. I was sucked in, man. to be that guy how many women followed the runs remember any humps like you get headquarters company come on a hump and the women are falling out into the humvees i could be just old as shit that's very true but i would think if the pace is being kept you know put out by the di's right they move pretty quick and you got the tall guys up front shorter in the back is it a problem women falling out of runs can't keep up out of humps you know in training because it's all new to somebody old like me let me know Seen that clip? Maybe I'll put it on here with the pugil sticks, the WM. I know that I'm dating myself, but the female marine against the male marine. Round one. All women are queen. If she breathes, she's a fuck. I just don't see that working well. It was hard enough when you were going against a big strapping dude on that little bridge. Remember the pugil sticks are coming in the octagon thing? And you just get pummeled. And if you didn't play football or something, or have that understanding of how it worked, guys were just getting wrecked. Make sure to go to the description box, follow me those links, been demonetized. Hope trying to get back, man. I'm trying to get the good graces. I know it's been a while. I was trying to find something that really interested me. And this does because I suspect the Marine Corps is not to part ways with money at some point, like the Army. Army's always had that issue to a degree, right? I remember years ago they dropped the ASVAB, be giving out more money than, say, the Marine Corps. 
But yet, I just don't know. We've shit on patriotism for so long. If we can bring that back and you can still sell the Marine Corps, the frat party, you know, the Lance Corporal below lifestyle. Thanks for your time.